All right, guys, easiest way to begin and start managing a OneNote staff notebook is to log into Office 365. So to log into Office 365, you're going to open a web browser, preferably Chrome, and go to www.office.com. This is the web page that will load. And once you get here, you're going to take your mouse in the upper right corner and click Sign In. Now you notice that this sign in here, my Lawson number, at hcps.net, that's the username. So your screen will actually look like this when it comes up. And again, you want to type your Lawson number at hcps.net and then hit tab. It's going to redirect you to our school board login. And from here, you use the exact same password that you use to log into all of the other district applications. Click sign in. And once you get in, you're going to see a splash screen like this. Once you get here, you're going to want to click OneDrive. Now, if it's the first time you've ever logged into Office 365, it's going to ask you to build your OneDrive, go through that process, and then once it loads, you'll have a screen that says Files. And then you will not have any files in here like I do, but you will have a place here to store your files. Okay, so once you've logged into Office 365 and you're in on your OneDrive, you want to come up here to what we call the App Launcher. There are these nine dots in the upper left corner. You're going to click there. And then in here, you should have an option for view all my apps. Okay, so here are all the apps that will load up. Give it a second. And then you should see down here at the bottom, OneNote Staff Notebook. You want to click on that, and it's going to open up the OneNote Staff Notebook. Okay, so from here, we're going to walk you through the steps for creating the notebook. First, you're going to click Create a Staff Notebook, and you're going to give the name of the notebook. So in this case, I'm going to use Demo Social Studies Department. Sorry, it took me a second to think there. Now I'm going to hit Next, and it's going to give you an overview of the different parts of the OneNote notebook. Now a collaboration space, you can see that the staff leader can edit and all the members can edit. And the content library, only the leader can edit and the staff members can only view the content. And then each person gets a private notebook where in that private notebook, you'll see they, the staff leader can edit it, but the staff member can edit his own content and can't view the other people's content. So this is a place where each member of your staff will get their own special space. If I want to add another co-owner to it, so if I have somebody else that I want to be able to manage it, I can do that. In this case, maybe you'd want to add your principal, perhaps, or assistant principal. If not, no big deal. I'm going to click Next. And now from here, we can start typing staff member names. So in this case, I'm going to start pretending like it was where I was back at Franklin, and I'm going to start putting in members of the staff. So there's Troy. He was a teacher at Franklin, so we'd click his name. And then I would put Mr. Tolbert as well, who's in the group. And then I would click Next. Now, these are the tabs that appear in the private spaces of each person's OneNote. You can uncheck the spaces that you don't want. And you can also add more, like units of study, if you want. And then you could put just those two or whichever ones you want by clicking, checking next to those. Now here's the preview of the notebook. And you can see the different spaces that the staff leader will have. In this case, the collaboration space, the content library, and a tab for each of the other staff members. For a member, a member is going to see the same collaboration space and the content library. But now look, they only see their name as well as those three different areas that we designated. Once I hit create, that creates the notebook. And once that finishes creating, then you will have your notebook completed. All right, so from inside of Office 365, when you're ready to access that OneNote shared notebook or that OneNote staff notebook, and you want to send a link out or you want to access it yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to click the launcher, click OneNote Staff Notebook, 
and then from here all the way over here to the right you're going to click notebook links and get notebook links and that's going to allow you to get a link for that particular um, page now notice also there is a button here for add new staff members so if your staff changes throughout the year and you need to add new staff members you can do that I'm going to click get notebook links and then here is that demo social studies department OneNote that I created I want to select a link starting with HTTPS okay notice I want to leave off this part that says OneNote colon so I'm going to start right here at HTTPS okay I would copy that and then I would email that out to my other staff members so that I could go ahead and access it now in this case I'm going to open a new browser tab and I'm going to paste that link in here and hit enter and here's that OneNote in OneNote online you can see here's the collaboration space and the content library as well as the two other staff members that I added to the OneNote. Now what is important here and what I want you guys to understand is oh, using the web app is not very powerful. So I want to click right here at the top where it says open in OneNote. You may get this external protocol request. If you do, just hit remember my choice and hit launch application. And now this is going to open up in OneNote the full-blown program, which gives you the full power of the entire uh, OneNote suite. So we'll give it a second here while it finishes up. All right, now through the magic of video editing, we've gone ahead and loaded up that OneNote completely into our OneNote here. And you can see that the staff notebook is now loaded into OneNote. Across the top, here's your collaboration space. Remember your collaboration space, everybody can edit. Your content library, which you as the owner of the staff notebook can edit. And then each of your department members own tabs, which remember they will only see their own tab. You can add new sections by just clicking this plus button here and that will add new sections to the OneNote. I can also add new pages by clicking add page and then literally OneNote will take any content you can throw at it um, and put anything in here that you can organize and because it is in OneDrive it syncs automatically back to the cloud so that means that the changes that occur your other staff members will see those changes instantly as they sync back to their particular copy of the OneNote. If for some reason you're aware there is an internet OneNote will track the changes that you make and upload those back to the cloud when you get internet access restored. So it makes it a very powerful tool for sharing different types of data and documents with each other in your department and keeping your department nice and organized in one simple place where you can all get your information.